most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about, we, we did a kind of a series of videos on this. What is causing your hip pain? Um, we did one on arthritis, we did one on tendonitis. Today we're talking about muscle strain or tear. How to tell mm -hmm. if you have torn a muscle or if you strain a muscle. So, what is a muscle strain? Uh, it's a muscle stretch beyond its limit. Right. Often happens with athletic events. Uh, it, it can cause a, a, what different terminology I've heard is strain, tear, or pull. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've heard anything else, Brad, but. Um, you, well, you, you could say rupture. And that, rupture. That's an extreme. That's, that's the third degree, which we'll talk about here. Right. So, there's three degrees of tears. Um, it, it, not the worst thing to know this. Uh, the first degree is. <laughs> If there's just mild overstretching, mm -hmm. um, you, the muscle might be sore, but it's not bad. Typically, uh, if you know if you have it in, on your hip flexor or something, you you can still walk, but you feel it yeah. every time you move that leg forward. It kind of hurts, uh, particularly if you've been sitting for a while and you get up and walk those first ten steps. Then it kind of loosens up and it's not. I think so if bad. you work out too hard, sure you know, on, on the hip. Yep. Um, uh, second degree, there's actually mild swelling and bruising. Mm -hmm. You'll visualize it. You'll see that. Uh, possibly severe pain and tenderness. Right. Um, it, even with a, a second degree. So there's been a moderate amount of overstretching, and you actually tore some fibers of the muscle. Right. But it's not like you... Um, no, because that's third degree. Third right. degree is there's severe pain and swelling. The muscle and or tendon is actually torn all the way through. The muscle could be put into two pieces. <laughs> Or the tendon could have been pulled from the bone. Right end. off the bone. And then you're going to notice, uh, I, you know, if you could lift your good knee up like this, you're not even going to be able to do a partial lift. Maybe unless we've got some other muscles compensating, but right. it's, it's, it's significant. It's going to hurt so much that you won't be able to lift it even. Right. Swelling, a uh, number of symptoms. So, again, it often happens suddenly with sports, or it can happen just even gradually with time, like a, a repetitive motion. If you're doing something you haven't done in a long time right. or, or you increased it too quickly, you can actually tear muscle by it. I think a real common one is the, the weekend athlete. Right. You know? You, you go out there and play a game of softball with the kids, and all of a sudden you think you can go from first to second base really, really fast. Yeah. And, and then you find out that <laughs> things been, don't work so I've good. I've been running uh, <laughs> two months. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So, yeah, if you attempt too much too soon. And, and you want to make sure that you, you know, you warm up. Um, you're at more risk if you had a previous strain. Sure. Uh, you're at more risk if you have muscle tightness, obviously. You don't warm up, and if you attempt too much too soon, those are the things you right, worry about. Right. So the signs and symptoms, you, you, well, like we talked about you could have swelling and bruising right. over, over the muscle. Uh, you might have muscle spasms. Yep. That's usually a sign that there's been some problems. Tightness, yep. Yep. Uh, a previous hip strain or tear, like uh, we said, that would be a sign. Uh, point tenderness, so you can actually find the spot on the hip that, that bothers right. you. And, you know, the hip is a kind of a, this is a tough one for, yeah, for the, the layperson because, you know, the hip has muscles all the way around it. Right. It, it could be a groin is related yeah, to the hip, that's hip, a hip flexor right? in the front, hip abductor on the yeah, side, yeah. or even in the back. So this is a pretty broad, so we're kind of yeah, touching the this. The hamstring goes up into the hip. Exactly. So, you know, uh, these are all ones that could be constantly giving you a problem. You know, often, like, if, you, if you're in a sporting event, you hear a pop. Mm -hmm. That's probably not a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I do want to mention, like, a, a groin, you know, that crosses that hip joint, yeah. and, you know, and that's right in here. And I've had a number of strains, mild strains, right. where when I run, it hurts, it pulls. When I walk, it does a little bit. And it's usually within a week. Or less, Start and I'll do down. some stretching. I'll do some self massage, and it'll calm down. Um, you know, if it's a second degree, you get in to do some massage. It hurts yeah. when you hit that sore You're gonna spot. You got to let it. it calm down. Yep, and you got to get a cold pack on it. Um, and again, third degree, yeah, that that's pretty probably serious. Surgery. You need to go in and see a doctor and yeah. have it assessed properly. Yeah. All right, so we're going to show you five tests you can do. We're going to just try to test each muscle of the hip. Sure. Yep. So uh, first we're going to do is hip flexion. Now, I normally want to test the non-painful side first. So let's say my painful side is on my right. So I'm first going to lift the hip up like this. Brad's going to show in the seated position on the side. And I'm just going to try to hold it up. And while I'm, I'm going to resist and push it push down. down. Now, if it's weak or painful, 
That might be that you have involvement of the hip flexor yep. muscles. And check the other side. That one's fine. Compare the two. All Notice right. good posture when you're sitting. Yeah. Don't, don't be all slumped over. Hip abduction, that moving the hips out. Gluteus medius minimus. And so we're going to push out like that. And again, you can push out both at one time. And if one doesn't hold, mm -hmm. one actually pushes back in or brings on the pain. Sure. Could be a strain. All right, number three, hip adduction. That's bringing the hips together. So you can actually put your fist like this. That's one way to do it. And just squeeze your legs together. This is where you feel that, you probably feel that groin pull. Yep. The, the one, you know, the muscles that go up into the groin. Um, that's the hip abductors. All right, hip extension. So that's the one that brings the leg down. So bring your leg up, grab onto it. I'm sorry, this one first. Push down and then compare it to the other side. Now, I just want to say that these tests also can be performed lying down. Yeah. A, you know, there's a, it's hard to do that by yourself. So these are not conclusive right. tests by any means. It gives you an indication, particularly when you test one side to the other. And so you kind of understand if you do go into a doctor or a therapist, you know what's going on. You, It's not completely foreign right. to you. And it could be something else. I mean, sometimes those things will bring on pain to uh, but l the other thing you're going to look for is point tenderness over the muscle. Sure. Yep. And probably the groin is a good example of that, Brad. You know, if you find, like, it doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt, but right in the middle, it hurts. Yep. You probably tore the muscle there or strained it. Yep. And uh, um, we'll show you some things you can do for that. Oh, yeah, in this video, we have uh, that on uh, some other ones. Yeah, uh, some other right. videos. Uh, and so, but that, again, is a sign that you probably uh, tore the muscle. Right. So Yeah, there's some massage techniques, but it's specific. And, I can, you know, we'll, you can see some of the videos to get into that clearly. Yep. Check it out. Oh, did I say it already in this Check one? What the, no, you didn't. I don't All think right. so. Mike, did he say it? Oh, no, I didn't. Say it, Bob. Okay. So this video is a part of series videos on hip pain. It's a free series. Go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the program section and look for the hip pain videos so programs mean we got a program for backs we got a program for hip we got a program for shoulders so go Tens, to that yep um, yeah so check it out we don't have them all done yet we no gotta, but we're working on work them. in progress so go to that hip program and each video has what Brad? pdf a printout on paper of the highlights and exercises so you can look at it and it come right back you say oh i remember that now you know but if you want you can go back to the video and and take a look at us again and, and see what <laughs> see what comes up with that see what's wrong with you okay <laughs> All right, check it out. Thanks for watching. Take care.